sorry the kettle is going to be annoying but good morning everybody and welcome to today's vlog so i'm finally back i'm starting to feel a lot better basically i took a month off because um i'm pregnant and i've just i put out the announce announcement video about a week ago um so pretty much for the first month of of after i found out about the pregnancy uh, i was very 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 sick with like morning sickness and stuff like that and i couldn't function so i was like i need to take a month off because i just can't keep up with the vlogs and editing and stuff like that when, especially because I was spending most of my time on the couch or in bed because I was so sick um, I have a lot of updates and stuff to tell you about that but I think I might do a separate update video because um, just if people don't like don't want to see that they just want to see the vlogs they can just watch the vlogs if they want to just see that that's fine or whatever um, but anyway I'm just making a cup I just woke up um, we're starting a new, a new tradition in the house today so I'm going to show you that and kind of explain it So we're doing this thing for Halloween in October called Skeleton in the Gelatin. So we've got two skeleton guys, they're kind of like Elf on the Shelf. Um, and they're sitting on jelly in these like cute skeleton cups. And I left this note for the boys. Um, just pause it if you want to read it. And there's also some chocolate and some like spiderweb and stuff. So when the kids get up, we will find out their reaction. Um, we've also, yesterday... Peter, Jason and I made some pumpkins. Uh, we did make some other pumpkins which I used in the, um, what's it called? Pregnancy reveal thing, but they went moldy. So I did a little bat. Peter did this freaking killer one where it's like the TARDIS from Doctor Who, Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas, Rick from Rick and Morty, Deadpool um, dude, and then the star thing from Supernatural. And Jason tried to do a Joker, but I think it turned out more like a Frankenstein, which is kind of cool. So we have those sitting here, so they'll probably last like a week, like the last ones did. Um, and we've only got a week till Christmas, so this gelatin, a uh, skeleton, or the gelatin, is going to be a new tradition, but it's only going to be a week in October, like at the end of October, unlike Elf on the Shelf, which is a month. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I need an update on a couple of things, so I'll do that while I'm making my... Milo this morning. Oh, looks like I'm having a freaking giant Milo. Um, I'm just gonna sit you here so I can kind of tell. I just need a spoon. Right. Um, so I'll kind of like give a little update on something that's happened. Um, so not yesterday, the day before, um, we had, we'd been crabbing and got some crabs and Caden wanted to try it. So we're all sitting at the back eating crab and all that and it was fine. And then after that was all done, um, me, Peter and Jason were sitting on the couch and Jesse was like um, at a physio appointment, I think it was. And Caden just goes, yells, dad, come here. And I was like, oh, come out here if you want something, mate, dad's not here. And then Jason just like, was like, I'll go see what's up. So we walk down there and you come back out and he calmly goes, Keandre, you need to go and check out Caden, he's a bit swollen. And I was like, that's kind of weird. So I went up there and his eyes were like fully swollen and like, I don't know, it was really crazy to see. I'll insert the photo at the end of this um, like story, I guess, or whatever. So I was like, I said, oh fuck, I think you have an allergic reaction, get in the lounge room now. And so we walked out to the lounge room, I said, Peter, you have an allergic reaction. Um, and I, I was like, I need to get ready, so whatever. So I ran and got ready. Peter grabbed him, um, got Jason to grab a wet towel, started putting like this cold wet towel on his eyes. He was freaking out because obviously I was like, I was kind of like shocked when I seen him. So I went, oh fuck, so he would have been freaking out because I was like, probably freaked him out. Um, and Jesse was out, so I called Jesse. I was like, you need to get home. No, he wasn't a physio appointment. He was at one of my friend's house. Um, I was like, you need to get home now. Caden's having an allergic reaction. So he got home. We went up to the hospital. And when we were sitting there, I was just like looking at him. And I was like, maybe it's just irritation. Like maybe he didn't wash his hands after eating crabs and he's wiped his eyes. Because um, the puffiness was like all in his eyes. And his throat hadn't like swelled up or anything like that. Or was closing up. Um, so we went in, seen a nurse, and the nurse was like asking him questions, but he kept looking at me, and so the nurse was like, you need to talk to me, mate. So they like kind of sat and talked for a bit. I told her he'd eaten crab, 
I didn't know if he was having an allergic reaction or if he just wiped his eyes. So she done a massive check over him and then that's when he started to say that he's having trouble breathing. So um, she called up the doctor and let him know, uh, let her know like our usual doctor. Let me scrub him out. Um, she let the doctor know that it was definitely an allergic reaction but not anaphylactis or whatever. Um, I think that's how you say it. So it wasn't like a severe allergic reaction. It was kind of in the more mild range but in the higher end of the mild range because a mild allergic reaction is normally just like a rash or something like that whereas he got swelling and stuff. So they administered some medication, I can't remember what it was called to him, um, and they informed us that this medication would make him hyper because it makes most people that take it hyper, including um, like adults and kids. So he took that and his swelling started to go down significantly. We got home, he did go hyper for a while and then um, I slept on the couch with him that night just to keep an eye on him. And um, I think I woke up at 3 in the morning and he was asleep sitting up. So I was like, oh my god, like, got him to lay down. And yeah, so it turns out he's allergic to crab. We're going to keep away from all shellfish. Um, but he has got a doctor's appointment today at 11.30 and we're going to go and talk about what happened. And I don't know if they're going to really do anything about it. I don't know if they're going to like just maybe order a test um, or something like that. If not, they're probably just going to put it on his record. Um, yeah, because it, like I feel like if he touched a crab, he'd be fine. But um, ingesting or having the juices go inside his body is probably not good so yeah that happened it was really really scary actually like i've never seen someone have an allergic reaction in person like that i've seen people get rashes from allergic reactions but i've never seen the swelling and stuff it was kind of really scary and i was like rushing and freaking out because i, was, I know allergic reactions can go really bad really quick if they're really bad ones i'm trying to think if there's anything else that i need to update you on in this video because the update video that I'm gonna make I don't know if this is focusing. There we go. The update video that I'm gonna make um soon is gonna be mainly on the pregnancy stuff because obviously Oh I'm bleeding. I currently am almost eleven weeks. I think tomorrow I'm eleven weeks. Um so obviously I've had appointments and stuff that I haven't talked about. I did vlog it. Um so maybe I'll put it in the video, like when I talk about each appointment or whatever. So I'm 10 weeks and 6 days, so yeah, tomorrow I'll be 11 weeks. It's probably not going to focus very good. And when I was like, like really sick throughout the start of the pregnancy, I had um, a lot of help. So I had mum came over and cleaned like the house a few times because like, I had a lot of trouble with smells. I couldn't handle good smells like cleaning products I couldn't handle bad smells which was like the bin and stuff like and the house just got really trash so mum came and helped like a fair bit Peter and Jason came and helped do cleaning and stuff and helped a lot with the kids same with Nick and Gabby they also came and helped clean and helped a lot with the kids so I'm super grateful to have like super awesome people that helped out a lot because I had a lot of trouble functioning um at that point but anyway um I'm just going to sit and drink my Milo at the moment and I'll let you know when I'm doing everything, anything. I do need to get some cleaning done because the house is a little messy. And I'll also vlog the kids' reactions to the skeleton thing, so yeah. Come on. You said they arrived on jelly. Should we read the note? You wanna read it? No, I need to. You want me to read it? You wanna look, Bobby? Mm. Alright, it says, Hello, Caden and Jackson. We are the skeletons on the gelatin. Our friends, Bobby the Crazy Elf and Saber, told us how fun you were, so we decided to pay a visit. Mm. Can you pick us a cool name each? We are going to be staying for a week for some spooky fun. I'll pick first. Alright, Jax. This one's Jackson's. It's got green jelly. What would you like to name him? Pori. Pori? Yeah. Okay. So this guy's Pori. Mm. Oh! You dropped him! Are you oh, to, you okay? Are you allowed to touch these ones? Yes. 
Well, hope you did it right. Is it okay? Yeah. So that's Pari. And you got red jelly. What's that blood? Look, there's chalk in it. What? Oh, look, these are cups when they're done. Ooh. I'm drinking. Cups there. So New yeah. cup. Oh, oh, and there's the. Come on, man. Gerald. Oh, oh and there's the Frank. eye. And there's the eye. Oh, no, this is Cody. So, what have we got? What's your one's name again? Porridge and Cody. Party. Pori. Yeah. Pori and Cody. All right. So I guess we'll find out what they do each day. Do you want chocolate? Do you want eyeball or pumpkin? No. Eyeball. There you go. Should we put your jellies in the fridge? Yeah. 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 Okay, then I have some news. What? We are officially daily vlogging again. Okay. Are you excited? No. Kaden, why are you not excited? I'm excited. Alakazam. I'm excited. We're vlogging again. Everyone missed us probably. They miss seeing him? your beautiful face. Oh my god, he's so cute. Do you love him? Yeah. Alright, so we've been to the doctor. We're upside down. We, oh, why? He loves weed. Yeah. We've been to the doctor. Caden doesn't need an EpiPen. He doesn't need an allergy test unless he starts having allergic reactions to other foods. And he just needs to stay away from shellfish. Get out of here. You're shellfish. No, everybody's a shellfish because their shell is What do you want from me? Their shell is their muscle. Anyway, oh, this is football. Peter and I are just doing some candied bacon at the mo. Um, Give me the yeah. You're gonna show me prezzies from Nick oh, and Gabby. I thought you were gonna say bang at home. Oh, bang at home. Yeah, four weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't vlogged in a while. I started daily vlogging again today. So Nick and Gabby gave Jesse his early birthday present. So he got a mug, some chockies, some chockies, some chockies, and this cool um, Iron Man. I need to say Iron King thing, so that's pretty cool. How old are you tomorrow, old man? 12. <laughs> He's 32, the old man. All right, I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, pretty much got all the cupcakes cooked, all the bacon cooked, so I just need to do buttercream and then decorate them and then put the bacon on top. But Peter and I, wow, Peter and I have been working on some more props and stuff for the skeleton and gelatin thing. Um, but we're having dinner now, so we're just having pizza and watching, what's this called? Stuba. Stuba. So I kind of sucked at vlogging today. Um, I just kept forgetting to pick up the camera because I haven't done it in so damn long. But we got cupcakes done, bacon done. I have to ice them tomorrow because I'm making maple bacon cupcakes for Jesse's birthday. We had pizza, which I showed. Um, and so Peter and Jason just left. So Jesse's gone to bed. The boys have got, were, went to sleep a long time ago. So I'm gonna head to bed. Um, but yes, as I said, tomorrow's Jesse's birthday. So um, I'll, I'm obviously vlogging, vlogging that as well. Um, hopefully I get a chance to do some editing on Sunday. But we're also going fishing tomorrow as well because the boys have been um, hanging, but it just depends on how Jackson's feeling because yeah, he hasn't been feeling the best. But anyway, I'm going to end the live vlog because I'm bloody exhausted from today. But thank you for watching and I will see you for tomorrow's vlog, guys. Bye!